Hi, Sagittarius! Please forgive me. I took a long time and, and I had such vast information. I mean, vast. I almost thought I was going to do a part two on it. I It was so much. Um, but I didn't. Um, I'm going to keep the other information for maybe another Sagittarius insight, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just do a message behind it because there are so many messages behind Sagittarius. And it's, it's not uncommon. I'm not surprised that I had so much... Uh, information on Sagittarius. Sagittarius does rule knowledge, higher learning. We like to absorb information. I'm a Scorpio, but my last day uh, is basically that the last day of Scorpio is my birthday. So I just, at this point in my life, I might as well consider myself a Sagittarius. But I'm going to read you this quote by Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, Jake Gyllenhaal plays this character, um, which, by the way, he happens to be a Sagittarius. I, and I didn't know that. I was going to use a quote, not knowing what um, Jake, what Jake Gyllenhaal's birth chart looks like. And I was like, holy shit. He has like Sagittarius all over his chart. <laughs> He's like a sun cusper, you know, he's like a Sagittarius Capricorn. But his Mercury and his Venus and his Neptune are all in Sag. That's amazing. No wonder I love him. This movie quote uh, got my attention years back and I kept it on in my notes. I keep a lot of notes and um, I love writing and... and and so um, I did. I did remember posting it on, on my feed on Facebook, if if I'm correct, um, because it, it was so powerful. Control is all about control. Every dictatorship has one obsession, and that's it. So in ancient Rome, they gave people bread in circuses and they kept the populace busy with entertainment but other dictatorships use other strategies to control ideas and knowledge and how did they do that they lowered education they limit culture they censored information and they sense any means of individual expressions. And it's important to remember this is a pattern that repeats itself. FYI, this quote to me is called Dumb Down. That's how I named it. I literally named it Dumb Down. If you ever heard of that phrase. To have Sagittarius in your chart means that you, in your past life, especially if you have repeated placements in Sagittarius, um, it could be one, it could be two, or it could be more. You have come from a place of crisis in consciousness. Let's start with Sagittarius and Gemini. Sagittarius rules foreign travel, 
Gemini rules local travel. Sagittarius rules international foreigners and Gemini rules local community, friends, family, strangers. Sagittarius rules the publishing industry. Is this a hair? Gemini happens to rule all types of communication. Sagittarius rules spirituality, the church, the clergies. Gemini rules reality within a reality. A reality within a reality. I know I lost you right there. You're like, what? The dual nature of Gemini. The planet of communication, uh, which is Gemini. Um, to say that Gemini rules a reality within a reality also has some things to do with um, simulation, okay? So there may be some people that may believe in, in, in that we live in a world of a simulation, you know, of some type of simulation, or um, there may be people that don't, that's fine. Guess what, Gemini rules that, the opposite of you, Sagittarius. And this is where it gets deep. Sagittarius, you rule crisis in consciousness. Gemini rules the environment. Gemini and Virgo, which are also mutable signs like you, are manifestors. They are the manifestors of the zodiac signs. If you put something out to this world, either through thought, through words, through actions, that is considered to mani be a manifester. Sagittarius, your job is to make sure that that request is on its way. Pisces, who happens to be the last mutable sign, because Pisces is the last zodiac sign of the zodiac wheel, happens to turn the ideas and the notions and, and whatever thoughts you, you manifest it into reality. Now, all these mutable signs means adaptability. It means transformation. It means flexibility. It means the beginning of a season or the end. That's what mutable signs are. The end of fall and the beginning of winter. That's Sagittarius. And then we have um, the end of winter and the beginning of spring. That's Pisces. Pisces, um, who happens to be a water sign, it's a blending of all these things, of all these notions, ideas, forms, consciousness. It goes back to its source. And what is source? It is your conscious. It is the only part of ourselves that is not ruled. And Sagittarius, you happen to have this ability. You happen not to be grounded because you're a mutable sign. You happen to have the knowledge, the wisdom, the experience, the reincarnations of lifetime after lifetime to understand that there's more to the world than what it is than what you see, than what you feel, than what you taste. Sagittarius, you come from lots of karmic cycles. You are put on this earth to become ascending masters. I know, I just gave you so much pressure, didn't I? I'm a fucking what? An ascending master. That is what your sign represents. And you could take this in a very high evolved self and become the humanitarian that you're supposed to be. Or you could take it as a very low evolved self and become an a-hole 
a controlling a-hole. Either way, we still love you, Saggies. I'm sorry if you hear the steam in the background. <laughs> I know you do. You're like, what the fuck is that shit? It's the steam. It's a radiator. You may or may not hear it. If you do, I apologize. What you want me to do about it? It's winter here. Sagittarius, we're in your season. But Sagittarius, most of all, I do want you to know that you are the teachers, the mentors the gurus, that's what your sign represents. I'm sitting here in front of you because I have Neptune and Sag, because I have Venus and Sag, because I am a Sagittarius cusper, because I have a North Node in Sag. Otherwise I would be partying, because that's what I used to do. And then once in a while, I'll do the mundane shit in life. Sagittarius hate mundane things. We don't say it out loud, but we just don't like mundane things. We like action. <laughs> what? It's a fire sign. What do you expect? Because we are ascending masters, are we supposed to be ascending masters? Or you believe that you are an ascending master? Either way, it doesn't matter. You are. That's what your sign represents. You are the initiator of the divinity. Pisces would be the divinity, by the way, in case you are wondering. But it starts with Gemini. It's a reason why I wanted to go down the list of the mutable sign. Because Gemini and Virgos are the manifestors. <sighs> Elizabeth Clare. Elizabeth Clare happened to have a moon in Sagittarius. She was known as a prophet. She passed maybe a, de a decade ago or so. I, I, I can't remember, I'm sorry. But she happens to be a prophet, one of many. Because I just want you to know that prophets did not end when Jesus died. It, there were more prophets after that. Just I'm just saying. Look her up. Elizabeth Clare, C-L-A-R-E. She delivered messages to the world through the power of the Holy Spirit. But she was humble. She was an amazing wife, amazing mother, amazing teacher. But she saw herself as a servant of the light. She came to that realization. She was the high ascending master. She is what some people would call the high priestess. I mean, she's already there in the divinity. Which by the way, in Tyrell, the high priestess is Pisces. Sagittarius happens to be the fixed angel. The high priestess would be the considered the divinity. It's a female version of the Pope. They used to exist by the way. Now, um, I want to continue about dumb down, dumbing down, that phrase dumbing down. You know, I love reading the Christian Bible. I went to Catholic school. Um, and I also um, know about the Kabbalah and, 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 and the tree of life and the mysticism behind the tree of life and, and, and the Kabbalah, uh, which is Judaism. Now, I'm saying this because the Christian Bible that I love reading, and, and, and some people who know me and, and have seen me on this channel know that sometimes I do love to read some verses from the Bible. But the Christian Bible has been edited. So if you don't know metaphors, if you don't know how to read in between the lines, you're lost. And Sagittarius, you rule this. 
you rule religion. That, that is what your sign represents, religion, clergy, church. Higher knowledge, higher knowledge is the, the consciousness, but it also represents religion. Spirituality versus religion. There is a difference, folks. But for all intents and purposes, the Christian Bible has been edited. If you want to know how to become more spiritual, better yet, if you want to learn how to become psychic. Now I have four placements in Scorpio. I'm meant to be some type of psychic. If I don't embrace it, I'm gonna lose that ability and I'm gonna come back in the next lifetime as an idiot. And I'm not saying people that don't have psychic abilities are idiots. God, no, that's not what I'm saying. Lucky you. But you have the ability to do this. Everybody has the ability to be have, to have some type of paranormal, supernatural activity. A lot of people do. There's some people that need to go let go of their ego. And so here comes the latter part of the zodiac wheel, right? Libra, Scorpio. Begins with the Scorpio, but they have they are manifestors that are before that. You know? Gemini, Virgo. But once you get to Aquarius and Pisces, the shit that I'm talking about, it's it's like it's like routine to them. You have to let go of your ego, you have to learn how to forgive. I mean psychic abilities. Do I mean looking at the future? Maybe. I don't know. But you definitely have to open up your third eye. That's where it starts. Which brings me to the realms. If you want to learn about the realms of the other side and the purpose of our existence, you need to learn how to meditate. You need to learn how to open up your chakras. I just talked about the third eye. Third eye is part of a chakra. But, um, you know, if you ever want to know why there isn't a scientific explanation for people that have tele telepathy, telepathy, <laughs> sorry, telepathy, um, um, again, that par paranormal, super, paranormal and supernatural activity, uh, clairvoyance, ESP. There, there, there is no scientific explanation for that. Just in case you were wondering, we are here to exist, not to be taken over. Not to have a mind governed by marketing, entertainment, narcissist, narcissism, <laughs> within ourselves. I'm not talking about others. I mean, some people will be controlled by narcissism from other people, but you know, what is narcissism? It's just another form of ego, psychologically, energetically, emotionally. We have to evolve ourselves as humans. That's our job. Sagittarius have learned that trait. And I'm talking to those who are more evolved, um, more mature. Because if you came to me with that shit at the age of 16, I would be like this, go fuck yourself. <sighs> I have a date. But I'm not like that anymore. I hardly don't even want to be in a date anymore. It sucks for me. <laughs> but listen, I've been there and done that and I'm not missing anything. God knows I'm not missing anything. I'd rather sit here and, 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 and teach. Because if I don't, the next generation will sit there and believe things that don't really exist. The dumbed down things 
dumbed down. I'll read the quote again, by the way. 